Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCC TV. Today we're going to talk about the DS control point. Um, we're just going to go over how to add the system and view your camera uh, live. Um, we, we're going to come out with other training videos on how to play back and you know, just basically go over the whole DS control point in small videos. So what the DS control point is, is just basically um, a remote software where you would install on a workstation. So, you know, generally you would have your server and all your cameras would communicate and record to that server. But then you'll have individual workstation where, you know, certain people would want to view the cameras and you would install control point on their workstation to give them that option to view the camera. So the first thing you do is, of course, you're going to have to install DS Control Point. And then after installing DS Control Point, you actually have to add the server to Control Point so it can communicate with each other. So go ahead and double click on DS Control Point. Um, I already have my server added, but we're just going to start from scratch. So let me go ahead and delete this real quick. I'm just going to right click and delete on it. But assume we're starting from scratch. What are you going to do? The first thing you're going to do is on the left hand side, we have our little setup icon right here. We're going to click on setup, then we're going to click on manage systems. Now this, you know, obviously it's pretty self-explanatory, will let you manage your system, basically add system, remove system, um, basically basic stuff like that. But right now we're adding a system, so we're just going to click on the little plus sign up here where it says add system. It's going to ask us for a name, we can name it anything we want, I'm going to name my remote server. It's going to ask us for an IP. Go ahead, type in the IP address of your Pelco server. So mine is set to 192.168.60.58. Of course, most likely yours is going to be different. Category is optional. Description is optional. I'm just going to leave those blank for now. And then, of course, you're going to type in your username and password. Um, for your Pelka server, You're, you should have this right when you set it up initially. Set up the Pelka server. It, it asks you to create a uh, username and password. The right hand side right here. It'll ask if you want us to auto connect. It wants us to do window authentication. Add to your favorites. Um, all that is optional as well. We're gonna click OK. And let's see, remote server has been added. This is just what we just typed in. So red means it's not connected. So what do you want to do to connect it is you want to right click and you want to click connect. Once you do that, you see it turns green and you see the tab under systems, it has my remote server. Now if I click on the little plus sign, it breaks down and it will show all my cameras. Right now I only have one camera added to the system. So now, to view your cameras live, what you want to do is you can click on the little live icon right here, it will create a little live tab. Now, we could choose different layout. You could just click on the little icon right here, and it'll give us our different layout. So since I only have one camera, I'm just going to choose a single layout. Now, I'm going to drag over my camera, and I'm just going to drop it. And it'll show me the live view. So, let's go through a quick rundown of just the icons on top of here. Um, let's start with the digital zoom. If you click on it, you're able to scroll up or down with your little roller on your mouse and it'll zoom in or zoom out. Then you could just left click and just drag wherever you want to go on a picture. We have our image adjustment right here. It'll let you tweak the brightness and contrast of your camera. So we hit apply. And then we have our manage OSD. So what the manage OSD does is um, it just basically lets you adjust the information that is displayed on the camera. So when I click manage OSD, let's say right now it's only showing me the time and the date on my camera. So let's say I want to show the camera name. Uh, you know, I could click that. I could just click OK. And it'll show me the camera name. So it's pretty uh, pretty nifty. And what I can do is remove. It'll remove the camera. That's the little icon right here. We have our little 
configure motion settings. Basically, this lets you adjust the sensitivity of your motion um, in a scenario where you notice that your camera is not as sensitive. If someone's walking by and like way in the back of your background, it's not picking up. This is where you want to go to adjust the sensitivity. But from my experience, usually the default settings are pretty good. You know, it's pretty accurate. So usually I just kind of leave that alone. But again, just cater to whatever situation that you have um, for that time being. The next icon that we're going to have is we're going to have the print icon. <laughs> Let's say if you see something on the screen and you want to print it immediately, you can just click on it, go to print preview, see if, uh, if it caught the what you want to see, and then you can just click print. That's also pretty straightforward. The next icon we're going to have is we're going to have uh, create group. So let's say you have you know multiple cameras. Um, let's say you have a camera in like a in a business, and you have different sections of your business. Like you have your warehouse area, your break room area, you know whatever whatever area you have you want to separate. Creating a group is probably ideal. So let's say I have three cameras in my warehouse. What I could do is I could drag all my warehouse camera to a certain layout that I choose. Then I could basically click on create group. And I could name it warehouse. And I'll click save. So let me go back to single view. So if I go into groups and I go into local groups, this is earlier before, I'll see the warehouse group that I created. So what I could do is I could just drag it over, drop it, and it'll show all, all my warehouse cameras. Um, you know, it's a pretty neat feature to, you know, kind of organize and structure, you know, your camera layout. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, what we have here is we have our little snapshot icon. Again, this will just let you basically let, it'll let you um, save a picture you know so if you're viewing the camera live and you want to save it you know something that you're seeing that's going on you can just click on it you know choose your path um, choose the format and click save so if I want to save it to desktop I'll just click desktop I want it as JPEG and I want to name the file so I'll do this test and I can just click save so once I do that it'll create the file right there so it'll create that little quick snapshot next one that we have is manual record so depend on how you have your system set up some people could have it set up to record on motion only um, they can have it set to record only when an alarm is triggered or record a certain time of the day so let's say we're in a scenario where we have it just recording at a certain time of day so let's say we're only recording during business hours um, from like I don't know from like 10 to 8 what we could do is if there's something going on outside of that recording time we can just click on the uh, the manual record and we can ask it to record for one minute five minutes upwards to an hour and we could choose the quality on how it records um, like let's say I just want to choose low and I want to record basically it's going to record for a minute you can tell by the purple border outside the camera, it's doing the manual record. Quick review, if you're viewing your cameras and something just happened, like two minutes ago and you want to go back, you can just click the quick review, click on how much you want to go back, and it'll take you back to that certain time. So you can see, I just clicked one minute and it took me back a minute. Um, then I could, you know, fast forward, you know, do it, all kinds of stuff, but I'm gonna make a different video on the search feature and on the playback feature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my live view. So let me exit this out again. This is our layout button right here. You can choose different layouts, and then we have our full screen mode. So if I click on that, it'll show up full screen. If I want to exit full screen, I'll just right click and click exit full screen. And our last icon is the unlock tab. So basically if I had two monitors and I had certain cameras I want to view on my second monitors, I would create the layout or even create a group 
So let's say we'll use our warehouse example again. So I have my warehouse cameras right here. And let's say I had a second camera that I want, I mean, a second monitor that I want to view my warehouse camera on. So what I want to do is I can just click the unlock tab. It'll pop out all my cameras. And I can just basically drag that over to my second monitor. Then if I had some more cameras on view here, I'll just create, you know, or I'll just drag cameras to this view. So that's basically it. Um, that's basically how you, you know, add your system, um, how you view your cameras live, and, you know, most importantly, how to create groups on your camera system. Um, make sure you check out our other videos on the DS control point. Uh, the next video we're going to do is we're going to do how to playback, so make sure you check that out. Thanks for uh, taking time and watching this video. Make sure you check out our other videos and make sure you visit our website at www.2mcctv.com.